good this is ambi again and today we are going to talk about python again and this time we are going to talk about hmm what is that i want to talk about today uh yes i want to talk about tuples i call them tuples some call them as tuple tuple whatever okay i call them as tuple uh, it's up to you however you want to pronounce it as um so uh tuple this is tuple uh, let's say how to create an empty tuple first empty tuple now empty equals this is an empty tuple we can create it this way as well uh, both are right so if you want to know what type what is that actually empty right print oh let me do this here just for Right, so it says it's class tuple. It is tuple, right? So then, hmm. let me define one more again. Uh, okay, this is. I want to comment this out. I think Control R. Okay, I put a comment here so that that won't run. Now let me define one more. A equals one, two, three, four, five. Right, and. Uh, this is the same as this one two three four five so if you want to know again uh, let me should have done it here right uh, type a tuple type B it's a tuple right so both are uh, correct however I'm gonna show you something here a equals let's uh, put a string here right and then let's say b equals right so let's say type let's see uh, what is a type of a that is this what the hell is this right type a it says that's a string well how the hell is that possible isn't that supposed to be a tuple no um even though uh, let's say you have just one value in, in a tuple uh, in order for uh, python to consider it as a tuple each item in it should be followed by a comma otherwise it will just be considered as a regular string so let's say b and this is fine too right so tuple so all these are okay and awesome now um, let's say you want to uh, select some items uh, from these uh, i'm gonna type again a equals one two three four four five all right i'm sorry about that all right so let's just index them out right it just says zero so it's going to print out the first one and let's say minus one right so the first item from right to left so zero you know the basic mathematics right zero left to right uh, positive number negative number from right to left uh, same thing as you know um, a list mm. again so you already know uh, how to you know uh, access these values uh, it, let's say if you want to use them or something um, let's say for um, should I say number n in uh, a right I say print a press f5 here well I had printing all of him but I just want to print n right one two three four five that is how uh, you use a loop well, we haven't gone to that stage yet don't worry about it we will cover it some of the time in the next lessons so after that um hmm, let me do okay control t i think oops control t uh, i'm going to use the same again uh, i would say c equals Hmm. A plus B. Let's see what happens. Print C F five. Oops, I think I have a space here. All right. 
Okay, so if you want to combine um, multiple tuples into one, you can. So we have uh, you know, covered all this, but I haven't even defined what a tuple is. What tuple is, consider, consider it as a list, but you can't, it's immutable. Uh, you can't you can't edit it you can't add numbers or take it out or something it's read only list okay consider it as a read only list in a list you can read and write but this is a read only list so uh it's why do we have uh this well it's faster because it's read only and it's uh, less memory intensive we gonna see why later right and you can assign this a b c equals one two three right if i say print b right so again on the fly you can assign variables to values in the tuple that's one of the good thing that we have you can do that in other data types too but i'm just saying now hmm, let me take this out so a equals one two three now right let me do this um len as in length right it's going to give you a count or the length of the object that is zero one two that's how it is counting i didn't make it well that's how it is let's say you want to do something more with a print uh, a star three hmm f5 right so it's it's printing the same thing uh three times uh equals one let me type this here one two one three five four uh six two right now let's say you want to do some booleans right uh i will say one in a that's true all right i will say nine in a that's false so this is basic boolean function uh, it's kind of useful when you want to uh, see okay if this item is in this uh, thing then you do the uh, task a if it is not not there you do task b right so in conditional parameters we will see that in future lessons mm -hmm. then okay i think we did this but for item in let's say a let's say print item if you don't know you can do this as well then hmm, you already know how to index them uh, zero one two i'm going to show you something else um, nine eight seven hmm? six let's say this right okay and uh, i will do a greater than b false is a less than b true right length b four right now let me take the same thing here and say length b right no difference this comma thing um, i told you earlier um, it's applicable for um, a tuple with just one value if you have more values if you have enclosed it in a bracket or something then python will know that okay it's a tuple right uh, it's smart enough to it's very forgiving uh, in python when it comes to these kind of things now let's say you want to know print uh well i don't have to do that here i will say max b maximum value in b that is a tuple maximum value in a uh, sorry minimum value there is this i'm going to define a list now uh, list is let's say one two three four five right and i will if i type this list type list is giving me it it's telling me that yes it is a list Let's say if I want to convert it uh, to a tuple. Now I will say this, right? And then I will do type list. 
its list. So it is not actually converting the original value, but it's uh, giving you an output that is a tuple. So let's say I do this tuple list, right? Oops. What did I do? I'm thinking list. All right. Now I do type A. Right, awesome. So it says tuple here. So that is what uh, we were looking for. So again, uh, tuple, uh, what, what the hell is a tuple? Tuple is an immutable list or a read only list. If you're bored with Paizo, let's switch to idle again. Now, let's say I wanna do, uh, well, for this I think I would better use this Paizo itself. I'm gonna say control A to remove everything. I'll say import sys. Sys is a module um, for system. And I want to define a list here. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Don't ask me whether I know anything else apart from one, two, three, four, five. Just easy, right? That's why I, yeah, that's why I use it. One, two, three, four, five, right? So now what we're going to do here is print. Hmm sys dot get size off um, list hmm? and then I'm going to do print um, sys dot get size off I'm going to press tab that will auto complete and I want to get the size of a tuple I want to press F5 here so as you can see, list is 56 bytes here, whereas 48, that is a tuple. Uh, it's the same data. So unless until, I mean, if you can get by, by doing uh, your task or whatever that you wanna do with tuple, just go for it because it's smaller and thus it will be faster. Uh, well, let's go ahead and measure the speed as well, right? Uh, time it. So we're gonna time some stuff here, time it dot time uh, it right oops time it and I'm gonna uh, do this first and then I'm gonna say stmt as in statement equals this that is oops first I gotta put this in like this I'm gonna say one two three four five right and I'll say comma, enter, and um, let's, uh, okay, I'm pressing tab, it's not needed, I don't wanna confuse you, I mean tabs are not needed, but I'm just putting it there, number equals, um, what should I, 10,000, and now, if you can, copy paste the same thing, remove B here, instead of this, Put this right you're just changing the bracket and putting this as B then what you want to do here is print a print B if you're not understanding this what I'm gonna um, just uh, know that I'm trying to measure the time right so here you go you decide what you want to use hmm so if you just see here, it's 0.0004, it's 0.0001, right? It is, how much faster is it? Like four times faster? All right, so yeah, that is where it is. Thank you for tuning in and you have a great day, bye.